This is the first time I tried to, you know, tear down one smartphone. To uh, dismantle, okay, to, to tear down this phone, you don't need a very special tool. Actually, you just need three things, okay, so it's already on your table. The simple screwdriver, snail, and the one small tools. First, I think we need to, we need to open the back cover uh, at the button of the screen, and then you try to, uh, you know, just press, press it hard, okay, and then... and then the phone will be open in two pieces. Okay, so you can see the back cover is actually the metal body, so you can feel, right? Cold. And then let's talk about the battery. So if you really want to have the big battery, I think you need to really, you know, uh, have some design to be able to put the whole battery inside. Okay, uh, but before that, we need to take out the batteries. Okay, after you finish that, you are able to get the uh, battery out. This is the 5000 mAh battery. Okay. The other thing we need to do is, actually the motherboard design, we need to change a little bit. But normally the main motherboard is slightly bigger. Maybe, so our motherboard is around two-thirds of the normal motherboard size. So you can have the space for your, your battery. If, if you watch closely, okay, in the, the back cover of the phone, there are some dip. Okay, and also there is some connector from, to connect the main motherboard and the, and the sub motherboard. This is the FPC, okay, we call it FPC, so inside. But in order, because you know the battery while charging and using, it will budge. So you need to have a space for it. If, you, if you, you are greedy about the small phone factor, but you don't leave the space for the battery, then it will become very dangerous. Okay, then let's take a look at the motherboard that's on the top. Okay, this is the main board. Okay, the, the main board. Okay, then let's first take a look of the fuel connector. Okay, so the connector that I point out here is the connector to our LCD screen. If you look at it, on your left hand side, on your left hand side, there's one small metal body that is covered by my metal, okay? So this is where normally when you talk about the digital spec, where is your CPU, RAM, okay, and the storage. So all are in this small metal space, okay? So this model, we have the Octa-Core CPU, okay, and then with 3GB RAM and 32GB SSD. And then the other part, the other half, Okay, it's the SIM slot. But this one we support the hybrid SIM, so you can put two SIM. And also, you can have a hybrid SIM to put either the car, uh, SIM card or the micro SD card, up to two terabytes. Okay, so this is the square part. Where is your CPU, SSD, RAM, and also SIM slot. Okay, then let's take a look about the camera. So camera, I think you can see visible is here. Okay, this is the rear camera. Near the rear camera, did you see two dots? Okay, one is in white color, one is in orange color. And then, in terms of a camera, okay, this is a 13 megapixel camera, support the face detection, autofocus, and with our Pixel Master technology. Let's take a look about the front camera, then we can take out the motherboard now. Okay, there's one more connector, so you need to take it out and then more or less you can take out the motherboard. Okay, so this is a small things motherboard. Okay, so you can imagine how technology goes. You still remember the motherboard is maybe five times, 10 times size of this, but now it's very small. Okay, we have a eight megapixel front camera. Okay, with a, a 2.0 aperture and 85 degree uh, wide angle. Okay, so and the support the beautification mode and the HDR mode everything. And then there's one more thing, I think it's about the uh, antenna, okay? There are two connectors here, this is the connector to the antenna. So one is here, one is here. 
So we have a two antenna inside. But you might you might wonder where is the antenna? On the edge. Did you see something in silver color? That is a little bit different. This is the antenna. Okay. This is called a PDS technology, so print direct structure. Okay. And then there are two antenna. One is the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. Another one is the, you can consider it's more like a diversity uh, antenna. What does it do? It's because, later I will introduce, because the main, main antenna for the signal, for your 3G, 4G, and then calling is at the button. Okay, but when you hold the phone, it's in this direction, right? So you, we might need another antenna on top to support the signal, to make sure that your signal can be better. And then we have a two voice receiver. One is at the up, up one is at the button. Okay, because then we can support the noise reduction. Okay, so the button, the first thing is speaker. You, the, the one, the black, black color you see, okay, but the, before you do, you need to first uh, take out another screw. This is the speaker. Okay, so this is not the traditional speaker you are aware of. Not the, you know, two circle. Okay, this is a speaker. The first thing, I think you see a very big light silver. Okay, on the motherboard. This is the vibrator. Vibrator. Okay, and then you see another uh, two list pin. Okay, three pin and one pin left hand side and the right hand side okay this is the connector to another antenna so that i just talked about then where is the other antenna you take out your back cover okay so did you see one part is black so this is another antenna so this antenna is our 4g okay so we have also support the voltage this model also will support the full voltage and the cat 4 and then let's do the last part is take out this some other ball. Un under this, this is the fingerprint. Okay, so this is the fingerprint that, that we can support the 360 degree. You can also take out, you can take a look because uh, when you take out, you can see that uh, there's a button. Oh, by the way, since I take it out, although it's not easy, so the proximity sensor, what I talked about, it, actually your phone, you can also do it like this size. So support the premium, you know, sleek metal body, 2.5D glass, okay, 5.2 inches IPS display, 5,000 mAh battery, okay, 8 megapixel camera, yeah, where is it? Oh, this is back camera, uh, front camera, okay, and then 13 megapixel back camera, okay, fingerprint scanner, 4G LTE, so the antenna is here, okay, and then the RAM and the CPU is here. 3GB octa-core CPU. Okay, and then dual microphone noise cancellation. I hope with this, we give you a different way of understanding one model. For me, it's also very interesting because while studying this, I also get to know even more. I hope you enjoy it. Later on, I think, because after you do that, it's a mess. Okay, so don't say that this is an ugly model. Uh, we have the ready machine layer. We got a tiered out hands on experience. We got to know what is the innards. And not just that, we also put together the phone back. So that was great experience and something which will stay in my mind for a long time. Specifically regarding this particular smartphone, I think the battery because you know for such a powerful battery, I think that uh, the battery inside this phone is so slim and so lightweight. The basic technology that goes into it, it's actually similar to what you would expect from a really high-end smartphone. The antenna designs over here, the audio output, the battery life, everything all contributes towards a really unique user experience. I think it's going to be a wonderful phone because it has a smaller screen size of 5.2 and 5000 mAh. Definitely this is going to be a killer for Asus. I'm really looking forward to making this my primary driver soon. And I'm feeling that given the 
demand for premium looking but value for money devices that is prevalent in India now, this device is going to do very good. So it was a pretty amazing experience and good thing is I could reassemble it successfully and I could boot it up. It just should have uh, more events like this. And I'm looking forward to using this as a daily driver in the near future. Thanks Yasus and it was a great experience.